Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Cortez here from the library, and I'm actually here in the library today. Today's story is Mr. Tiger Goes Wild by Peter Brown. And since this is the only name that we see on the cover of the book, that means that Peter Brown is the author, so he wrote the words in the book. And he's also the illustrator, so he also drew the pictures. He did both. All right, let's get started. Everyone was perfectly fine with the way things were. Everyone but Mr. Tiger. Mr. Tiger was bored with always being so proper. Good day, Mr. Tiger. Good day, Mr. Deer. Lovely weather we're having, I suppose. Indeed. Now, children, please do not act like wild animals. He wanted to loosen up. He wanted to have fun. He wanted to be wild. And then one day, Mr. Tiger had a very wild idea. Hmm, I wonder what it is. <gasps> is he acting like a tiger? Don't tigers walk around on all fours? Hmm. He felt better already. Mr. Tiger became wilder and wilder each day. Roar! His friends didn't know what to think. Peculiar. Wow. Oh, unacceptable. Hmm. And then Mr. Tiger went a little too far. He took his clothes off. But now does he look like an actual wild tiger? Because tigers don't actually wear clothes, right? His friends had lost their patience. Mr. Tiger, if you must act wild, kindly do so in the wilderness. What a magnificent idea, said Mr. Tiger. So Mr. Tiger ran away. Into the wilderness. Where he went completely wild. Roar! in the jungle, no one else around. Ah, but Mr. Tiger was lonely. He missed his friends, he missed the city. He missed his home. So Mr. Tiger decided to return. Do you think they're gonna let him come back? And he found that things were beginning to change. Now Mr. Tiger felt free to be himself. And so did everyone else. Some of the other animals joined in on the fun. <laughs> the end. So boys and girls, remember, it's always better to just be yourself. Have a great day.